Hey guys, Ivan here, and we have a new Mr. Olympia, a hostile athlete, by the way, Samson Dauda. What a crazy moment, man, what a crazy moment. I expected Samson to win the Mr. Olympia last year, and I was cheering for him the entire year this year. But honestly, like at the last moment, the last week or two after the France Pro, I thought he he wouldn't do it. Let's be, I'll be honest. I, I didn't think he was gonna be able to pull it out. But after I saw what he looked like at the pre-judging, I had him winning. You know, I thought he should have won, and he did win. I thought they might actually give it to somebody else because of the politics or something like that. But I didn't actually think Derek Lansford is gonna go down to third spot. I was really surprised by that. I mean, I was already surprised when I saw this call out at the finals in which Hadi and Samson were in the center and Martin Fitzwater was in the top four as well. Another hostile athlete, by the way. And they actually compared Martin to Derek. So I guess there was a question of Derek placing as low as fourth and Martin cracking the top three. I didn't expect this, but I can see it for sure. Derek, yeah, he made improvements, but like mainly in his back and a little bit in his quads, but not enough. You know, he was basically very similar to what he brought last year. And he was, I think he was slightly off with conditioning. He could have been drier. He would have been sharper. I think he was holding some water. So, you know, with that smoothness, I guess it wasn't enough to win the title. Now, as far as Hardy, if Hardy brought his Arnold Classic conditioning, I don't know if this would be the outcome. Maybe it still would, but I don't know. Uh, he definitely didn't bring that. He was definitely off. His conditioning was basically similar to last year conditioning. And this time around, they didn't give it to Derek. They gave it to Hadi instead of Derek. My logic was, since they gave it to Derek last year instead of Hadi, and I think it was very similar between these two guys last year and they gave it to Derek. I thought maybe they were punishing Hadi for, you know, the oil and the delts and stuff like that. I don't think Hadi versus Derek was much changed this year. I guess, yeah, sure, Derek was a little bit smoother and maybe his back was overdeveloped this year compared to the rest of his body. So yeah, I guess maybe Derek ruined his symmetry a little, his proportions, and maybe they punished him for that and also for being a little bit smooth. Now, as far as Martin potentially cracking the top three this year... I mean, I didn't see it that way. Uh, maybe in a sense that he is more complete than Derek. He was arguably the most complete bodybuilder in that, in the top five, in the top ten, whatever. Like he didn't have many flaws. I mean, yeah, like he could be bigger. Like the back could be thicker. He could be overall like uh, more developed, muscularity-wise, but conditioning-wise and like completeness-wise. He had all the body parts, small waist as well, good symmetry, good proportions, good lines. He had it all. And he beat Andrew Jack. Andrew Jack placed fifth. And I'm so happy about this because when I told you guys that he has a chance of beating Andrew Jack, so many of you were like, you're crazy, Ivan. This is not going to happen. This is never going to happen. And it happened. And what are you going to say now? Let me hear you. So yeah, I was right about that, at least. I was wrong about some other things. You can't predict these things. I know, guys. You, you, it's impossible to predict. Until you see these guys on stage, it's impossible to tell who's going to place where. And even when you see them on stage, sometimes it's also very, very close to determine who's going to place where because all of these guys are very good. There are very, very small differences between them. And it could have been Hadi who won this show. It could have been Derek. If Derek won this show, would you be upset too much? I don't think so. I mean, maybe the same as you were last year, but that's about it. All these guys are very, very close. However, Samson is the one who improved the most by far from last year and from the Arnold Classic as well. Samson brought better conditioning. His absent eyes pose was much better. His midsection control was phenomenal. Waist was smaller. He was way leaner, way drier, but with fullness. Not like at the Arnold Classic UK. Samson, Dauda, and his wife, Marlena, brought it. They brought it together. There was so much noise this entire year about uh, him working with his wife. We all, most of us thought that, like, when he stopped working with Milo Archer, he was never gonna be at his best. And it was Milo Archer who made Samson Dauda, Samson Dauda. But apparently, Marlena, apparently she did a better job, conditioning-wise. She brought Samson, finally dialed in, 
and he won the Mr. Olympia. We gotta give them props. I gotta give them props. I gotta admit, she knows what she's doing, man. Like, she knows Samson's body, and uh, they nailed it. They definitely improved just enough for Samson to become the best bodybuilder in the world. So, yeah, there you go. Samson is the new Mr. Olympia. History was made. I think he very much deserved it. I think he's definitely the best body in the world right now. He's a big guy, tall guy, massive guy. He, he's the second coming of Ronnie Coleman, basically. I'm very happy that this is the way it went down. This is the way it should be. This guy should be the Mr. Olympia. Uh, by the way, Hunter Labrada was out of the top five. So Andrew Jack cracked the top five, but Hunter was sixth. But it was very close. I think Hunter could have placed as high as fourth. It was very close. They nailed it. Him and Ben Chow, they definitely nailed it. But it just wasn't enough, I guess, uh, that midsection was still an issue. So if he can learn how to keep the vacuum at all times, like Hadi, the way he was doing it at the Arnold Classic for the first time, that made a huge change. If Hunter can do that next year, he can place even higher. I mean, Hunter was one of the biggest guys on that Mr. Olympia stage, honestly. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Once again, we have the new Mr. Olympia, and it's Samson Daura. Give me your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the Mr. Olympia coverage, subscribe to this channel. You're gonna see a whole bunch of more post-Olympia videos on this channel right here. So, guys, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best, and bye-bye.